بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہیلو ایوری ون ویلکم بیک ٹو دا پی ایل تھری ہنڈریڈ ایگزام پریپریشن سیریز ویئر وی آر ہیونگ اے لک ایٹ دا فرسٹ لرننگ پیتھ پریپیئر دا ڈیٹا ان دس ویڈیو وی ول کنٹینیو ٹو ایکسپلور دا ٹاپک ڈیزائن اے اسٹار اسکیما دیٹ کنٹینس فیکس اینڈ ڈائمینشنس وچ از پارٹ آف دا سیکشن ٹرانسفارم اینڈ لوڈ دا ڈیٹا ان دا پریویس تھری ویڈیوز وی ہیڈ لکڈ ایٹ دا پروسیس آف بلڈنگ اے اسٹار اسکیما بیسڈ آن فیکس اینڈ ڈائمینشنس سو وی ڈڈ دا ہوم ورک where we figured out what were the key dimensions, what were the key attributes or columns of those dimension tables. And similarly, we figured out what should be our fact table and what should be the quantitative columns for our fact table. So now we are going to actually do it inside the Power Query Editor. The first dimension that I am going to create is going to be my customer dimension. So we have in the staging area our raw query or our raw file superstore. So we are going to follow the same process as we have been following in the videos uh, from the last section where we created the data model area. So first we are going to create a data model area by first creating a copy of this query and we have been using reference. So we are going to again use reference. So I'm going to click on reference and this creates a copy of my superstore query. Now I want to move this superstore to a new area which is the data model area. So here I'm going to right click, move to group and then I'm going to click on new group and here I'm going to write data model and now you can see that the copied query is inside the data model. So now I know that I want to create my dimension customer so I'm going to rename this query as customers. If you remember from the last part last video we had figured out that there are going to be only three columns customer id customer name and customer segments that are going to be part of this customer query so now i do not need the rest of the columns which are part of this query so what i'm going to do so i'm going to select customer id then by pressing control i'm going to select customer name and then i'm going to select customer segment so i'm going to, i have selected these three and then i'm going to come here in the remove columns area and I will click on remove other columns. So that is going to just keep these three columns and remove all the others. So here I'm going to click and now you can see that all the other columns have been removed and now just the three columns that I require are left in this particular query. So if you remember in the last video, we talked about primary keys and foreign keys and I said that there has to be at least one column inside your dimension that should act as a primary key but how should how do we know that what is the column that can be considered as a primary key so for that we go back to our knowledge from one of the previous videos which is based on column profiling so i am going to click here on the column profiling based on top 1000 rows and i am going to and then going to select column profiling based on the entire data set so remember this is a transactional table so this was the original transactional table and what we want is that we want to convert this transactional information into a into a dimension and for that at least one of the columns at least one of the columns should be a primary key column and that primary key column says that all the records in the dimension should be uniquely identifiable so now let's go and click on view and then i am going to click on column distribution so here the area of interest is this one so here if you can see that we have in the customer id 2703 distinct values and 897 unique and in the customer name there are 2702 distinct and 897 unique so this information is telling me that there are 2703 distinct customer IDs in, in, in this data set. So now I have to convert this query, this query into a query where the IDs, because these are the maximum number of distinct values that here I see. Here in the customer name, there are 2702 distinct values. So that clearly shows that there might be a customer uh, there might be a record for which the customer name is exactly the same. So we, we would have a record where the customer ID is different, but the customer name is exactly the same, which can actually happen for, uh, for any uh, data. So we have to somehow convert this 2703 distinct into 2703 unique as well. So once we make this column 
as 2703 distinct and 2703 unique then we can say that this is now my dimension and for that we just need to select this column press right click and the, we have the option of removing the duplicate so that is going to remove all the duplicates so I'm going to click here on remove duplicates and now you can see here that I have in this column I have the customer ID data as 2703 unique and 2703 distinct but here the data is different because like I told you that 2702 are distinct records so that shows that basically there is one ID one particular ID for which the uh, there are two names there are there are exactly the two the two uh, customer names so we have to be very careful in selecting that the, the column which we feel should be the candidate for the primary key so now we have the customers column as a dimension so now this is our dimension which has the primary key column as the customer id and there are two attribute columns customer name and customer segment so i am back in the excel sheet and now you can clearly see that this was the uh, this was the a dimension the customer's dimension that has been created so I'm just uh, changing it to a slightly different color so that I know that this part I have completed now I have to repeat the same for the other dimension so now I am going to re repeat this process for my products dimension so I'm going to select these six columns from the raw data and then I am going to figure out what is the primary key column what should be the primary key column that I need to be focusing on and then I'm going to again remove the duplicates from that column and then my data is uh, converted to a proper dimension which is going to be the product dimension so let's go back to the power query editor and repeat this process so I am back in the power query editor and again I'm going to repeat the same process I'm going to just create a copy of this superstore query which is now created and I am going to drag it into the data model area and now I am going to call this as my products query now I need to select the six columns based on my excel sheet so I am going to just select those six columns and remove the rest of the columns so here I have finally selected the six columns by removing all the other columns so the six columns category container item id item product base margin and the department so these six columns are now inside my products query and again i am going to do the same step i am going to first select the customer profiling based on entire data set then i am going to look at the column distribution so now again I will have to look at each column separately and I will figure out which is the column that has the highest number of distinct, distinct values. So this item ID has 1263 distinct 48 unique and item is also 1263 distinct and 48 unique. So I can say that these two are the columns which are candidates for my primary key. But once we are selecting the primary key we always want to keep the primary key or the id column as an integer column so here my preference is definitely going to be my item id we are going to talk about why we prefer the the column with a with a whole number or with a data type as as integer and why we want to keep a number here we are going to discuss this once we are talking about the data model opt optimization but here item id is going to be the column so again I'm going to come here and I will right press right click and then I'm going to press on remove duplicates so now you can clearly see that the duplicate values have been removed from all the records in the table and now we have the primary key 1263 distinct and 1263 unique this is a very important step once you are doing the data modeling so make sure that you select the appropriate column and then you also recheck that the process of removing the duplicate does not remove any other value. So there is a possibility that once you remove the duplicates from a column but it also removes certain records in some other columns. So you have to make a note of it 
that this process does not delete or remove data from other records. So this is something that you have to look at very carefully. So now my products dimension is ready and item ID is going to be my primary key. So in this video, we saw that how you can actually come into Power Query Editor and create your dimensions using the knowledge that, uh, that we saw in previous videos where we actually developed a data model on paper. So we converted our knowledge from the Excel sheet to, uh, to the actual working inside of Power Query Editor. We are going to continue working with this data set, but we are going to uh, stop this uh, topic here. So we are going to explore the rest of the functionality in a few other topics where we are going to look at merging and we are also going to look at the creation of ID columns where uh, we have certain tables and there is no primary key, how we can create the primary key. So we are going to look at that aspect in, uh, in other videos. So the video which talked about the star schema, we are going to end here and um, the, the rest of the stuff you can follow in the next video. So that's it for this video and I'll catch up with you in the next one.